Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog, and yes, I'm all dolled up, and I'm going to go to the Taylor Swift concert, so I'm running a bit late, um, so hopefully it's not going to be an issue, um, I think the doors open at 6, but um, the concert doesn't start until 7, so I think I'll get there like 6, 6, 15, 6, 30, so fingers crossed it's fine, yes, I was invited by Google to attend, and I'm just so, so excited, I love Taylor Swift, I haven't seen her live before, so so excited to see her. Hey guys, so I am now here at the Marvel, st Marvel Studio, at the Marvel Stadium. Hopefully you guys can hear me, it's really windy. Uh, let me just stand here in the corner. Alright guys, so I'm now here, um, pretty close to the Marvel um, Stadium, so it's just right behind me. So it was formerly known as the Etihad, I think they rebranded it because Disney bought it. Sorry, I'm just going to move away from the wind so you guys can hear me. Um, so I'm going to be meeting AJ here, she's going to be here tonight um, as well. I don't know what time she's getting here, I think she said 6.30, so hopefully she gets here soon because I'm having one of those panic attacks again. And <laughs> I wouldn't call it like a full-on panic attack, but I'm just feeling very, very anxious and nervous. It doesn't help that my shirt's a little bit tight, so I'm feeling very, very self-conscious. Um, but I'm going to just check out the area before I actually go in, um, because the view here is very, very pretty, and I haven't been here before. Um, and I think you can see the Baltic Bridge just that way, so let's go have a look. I've been down there before, like with AJ and everyone else, because we had a YouTube event like somewhere that way. So we met up here, had photos and stuff, um, but yeah, that's the Balti Bridge, I think that's how, I think that's what it's called, Balti Bridge, and yeah, so we're going to go head back towards um, the Marvel Stadium. Okay, so it's really noisy, um, so I just tried to go in, but they said I couldn't bring my camera in without it being cloaked, so they're going to put like a plastic bag on it, so I have to go to gate 4 and get that sorted, try and show you guys as much as I can of the inside um, using my phone, so I'll have to vlog using my phone unfortunately. I had to leave my camera at the cloaking area, which was a little bit more for me. But anyway, we're here. But I can definitely show you guys the suite, and it's just like amazing. We've got a little spread, and I'm the first one here. <laughs> and Jake's gonna be here soon, so hopefully I will have company very soon. Oh god, she's strong. <laughs> she's very strong. Hey guys, so I'm now in the bathroom because it's really loud up there. I'm sure you can hear Charlie XC. <laughs> I keep forgetting her name. Um, she's playing now and I'm just so, so happy and so excited. And I'm, I'm seeing more familiar faces, so I'm so happy. So there's Olivia as well, so I'm meeting new people as well. So, oh, so, so excited. So, yeah, just so happy. And clearly I found a few drinks. I need some food, so I'll get that. And then I will continue vlogging for you guys. What is up everyone? It is now Sunday and boy, do I have to tell you, yesterday was completely ridden off for me. So I couldn't really do much yesterday. I pretty much woke up, I actually felt okay, and then started doing some housework and then sat down and then that feeling of being hungover suddenly crept in. I just felt so, so terrible. Um, yeah, it was just, I couldn't do anything. I was, it was terrible. I had this whole plan for Saturday that I was going to do some filming, some editing, and just, it just never happened. Um, at least my partner and I managed to go get to, at least my partner and I managed to go to the post office to collect some mail, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I already showed it on Instagram stories, but in case you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys can see that as well. Um, and then did some grocery shopping and and yeah, I had a bath last night. That was pretty much the extent of my Saturday. Again, very unproductive. And if you guys know me, I love doing things on Saturday. So today's Sunday. I have a whole bunch of things planned out for today. I've already done the laundry, as you guys can probably tell. I've done the sheets. Also, that's another thing. Um, I was supposed to upload a video yesterday, but that didn't happen, obviously. So 
this is why you guys are seeing this today or tonight wherever you guys are um yeah so i've got a lot of things planned out and yeah oh and by the way guys i have a giveaway happening on my instagram in collaboration with two amazing content creators so definitely check out my instagram if you guys would like to join it's a big makeup giveaway and it's um international open international i should say um yeah Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit of a chatty Cathy today. Um, yes, that's my filming room. There's a towel, if you guys have recognised that I used that as a flat lay background. Anyway, um, so today my partner has gone to his hometown to pick up his brother. Um, so there's a family occasion happening next weekend, so that's why he's picking him up. And I'm going to be here basically alone. And I haven't been alone in the apartment um, in quite some time, like months. Like, obviously he'd go somewhere and then I'd be here for a couple of hours, but I'm talking about overnight and it feels really weird um, but that being said I am going to be leaving him here um, on Tuesday because I'm going to fly up to Sydney for yet another Google event so pretty pretty excited about that um, I'm just I don't know I, I for a second that I have to say I did feel that I felt like social media kind of like forgot about me uh, like you know, I, I saw some of my friends getting invited, I saw my friends getting invited to things and getting PR that I wasn't getting and I know I shouldn't really let that get to me but, you know, I'm human and it gets to me as well and I felt like, wow, I think social media has forgotten about me and I'm just going to slowly slip back into the nothingness that I... <laughs> Bit dramatic but you know I, I, like I keep on saying my YouTube views are actually going down and I don't really know how to fix it um, I'm doing everything the same pretty much I guess these days I'm not as enthusiastic as I used to be because I've got all this personal stuff going on as well but anyway I oh, just need some water to hydrate my throat, darling. Um, so I got a question on Instagram. Um, do I hate my natural eye colour? And that got me thinking, do I or do I not? And the story is, um, at one point, or well, actually, for a long time in my life, I did kind of... Well, not kind of, I, I really didn't like my eye colour. Now, the reason why I didn't really like my eye colour growing up, well, just to give you guys a little bit of background, if you guys don't know who I am and where I've been, I was born and raised in Hong Kong, and my family are from the Philippines, so, you know, everyone had naturally dark hair, naturally dark eyes, you know, some had tan complexion, some had lighter skin, um, and growing up, I always felt like everyone was pretty much the same, like, I, honestly, I'm telling you now, when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to dye my hair at, when I was at school to any other colour except for maybe very dark brown, <laughs> and my natural hair colour is, like, like that black there. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I always felt like I wanted to be different. I wanted to look different. So as soon as I could have, so as soon as I could dye my hair, I started dyeing my hair. And then as soon as I could wear coloured contact lenses, I started with coloured contact lenses. I think my very first pair was a blue. Sorry, I think that's my phone. Sorry, that was my partner. He just called um, just to say that he is going to stop by in a neighbouring town to meet up with an old friend. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, hated my <laughs> hated my natural eye colour. Um, I wanted to be different, so so essentially I just wanted to be different and as soon as I could dye my hair, wear coloured contact lenses, started doing that. Um, it's only really in the last few years that I started to really appreciate my natural eye colour. Every time I used to wear makeup I'd always um, try my best to wear coloured contacts, contacts with them because I felt like my natural eye colour was too boring and it just looked really dull and I don't know, that's just how I truly felt about my eye colour and then that's when I started to really experiment with like different coloured contact lenses like really extreme bright blue ones, grey ones, blue ones and I think personally I like um, grey and blues on myself um, maybe turquoise kind of but not green green I think green green kind of makes I don't know for me like my complexion look a little bit muddy anyway um it, like i said it wasn't only it was only until maybe a few years ago i started to really um appreciate my natural eye color and I, I think my partner played a huge role in that as well because he'd always tell me and compliment me about my eye color and how it's you know really nice and pretty and stuff like that and um i you know in my head, I'm like, you're my boyfriend, you're going to have to say that, you know. <laughs> but it was until, I think it was when I started to really play with really dark eyeshadows that I started to realise, you know what, my natural eye colour looks pretty with them too, not just like coloured contact lenses. I mean, obviously when you have really light eyes, light coloured contact lenses and you wear really dark makeup, it really pops. But even then, my eyes just kind of like, 
I don't know for me okay this is just like my perspective you guys might think I'm crazy in my head but in my head I feel like that's it's glowing so yeah to answer that question I did at one point hate my natural eye color but now I love my natural eye color will that stop me from wearing colored contact lenses obviously not I'm wearing a pair right now but I'm definitely more comfortable um, in just like my natural eye color than I used to be a few years ago. I'm gonna start off with a haul. So um, I received a package from L'Oreal. So this one is the Cherry My Cherry palette. This one's actually quite cute. Um, when I did see this, uh, I think I saw images of this floating around like months ago and um, it's a pretty selection of colors. Do I think it's all cherry related? Not really. I was kind of like expecting the Urban Decay Cherry palette um, to be completely honest in terms of color selection. The only cherry shades I can really see are probably these ones up here. And I think everything else is kind of like your neutral eye. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I might be using this tonight. I'm not really sure if this is what I'm going to use to film tonight yet. I'm very indecisive, guys. Um, and then I also got this package from Mina. So um, they contacted me if I wanted to try out their lip products. Um, and I said, yes, I'd love to. And I'll probably do a switch, uh, switch, swatch video for you guys. Um, so I have got, let's, let's bring this out. So these products right here. So these ones are lipsticks. The ones up top are lip liners. That's a lip primer. And I also have a, a lip brush. So uh, most likely I'll do the swatch video tonight and then I don't know. I've got a lot of things that I want to do. Like I said, I kind of ruined my day yesterday because I have all these things planned in my head and I really want to get it done but, you know, I don't have enough time in the day. And then last but not least are these headphones from Studio. These are the Regent, come on focus on this, not my face. These are the Regent Studio, Studio, Studio um, headphones and the over-ear ones, so like that, and they are Bluetooth as well. Now, I do have to say when I first turned them on, I was so confused on how to pair them. I tried to pair it with my phone, I tried to pair it with my iPad, and it just, it was just really, really annoying. And then I actually sat down and read the instructions, and then I figured it out, so read the instructions. You're in perfect timing as well because the ones that I normally wear, these sort of like rose gold ones from Miniso, or is it Miniso? Miniso. I think it's Miniso. Um, that I got for like $10. They're, you know, pretty dirty. You know, they could use a little clean. I probably should have. Um, they're okay, but the sound quality isn't amazing. And yeah, I think these are about to go. I feel like they're not holding a charge as they, as much as they used to. Um, I think I bought this probably, I think I purchased this in March. I mean, it's still fine, but I think I paid for less than $20. So I'm not complaining, but obviously something like this that's well known and has, you know, a heftier price tag. I'm assuming this would actually last longer and I think this has a one year warranty I'm pretty sure. So yeah that's pretty exciting because I'm also going to go like I said I'm going to fly to Sydney on s Tuesday I was gonna say Sunday um Tuesday and um I do prefer to listen to my own music and watch my own shows you know sometimes they they have decent films on the flights but this is a really short flight so I don't even know if they're gonna have those little TVs I think most of them do these though as well I don't Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog at that. I am about to start making lunch and I am going to start editing this video so that you guys can watch this tonight. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed. Tell me down below which is your favourite Taylor Swift song. I'd love to hear from you guys. Mine is Love Story and will always be Love Story. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.